Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Benizamati of Living Springs International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. This morning I would like to capture my thoughts with a funny uh, title, Fear I Beg, I Beg You. Fear I Beg You. I'm not saying you should fear I Beg You, but rather I Beg You that come out of fear. Now, uh, there was one time there was an interesting time uh, I invited a, a very powerful preacher with a, a powerful healing ministry to church. And, uh, you know, as he was ministering, then he called one person who had a, 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 a very a brittle bone disease, a very dangerous uh, disease. And um, he called another person who was, I think, blind or so. And then, um, you know, when he called the person forward, I mean, there was a hush in the, in the, in, in the, in the whole church. And at a great, great auditorium, and there was a hush in the whole church, and everybody was like quiet. And I must admit, I was saying in myself quietly, Oh boy, God, you show up here, or we all scatter. You know, and uh, then something interesting happened. Uh, some of the uh, protocol people who were sitting behind us, our protocol, like the pastoral protocol people, one of them uh, opened the mouth and in prayer he said and she said oh god i for this one dear god please whatever it is please god show up god this one ask for this one dear i mean that is ask for this one god please don't fail and you know one of the things that i i just burst out laughing i mean i couldn't help but laugh it was like well she was articulating what was in me that i didn't have the mouth to to express but she was saying it, but God, as for this one, please, you can fail in any other thing. You can fail, you can bomb in any other thing that's towards me. But this one, God, please don't make a mistake. You need to show up. And, you know, I sat down quietly. The interesting thing is that this guy prayed. The brittle bone disease never appeared anymore. And the guy was okay. I mean, I mean, it was a miracle. We saw the miracle. The blind person too, we saw the miracle. This is not uh, go back and no, 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 no. It was just there. And even the parents of the brittle bone disease patient said to me, from that time onwards, that uh, uh, one to breaking up of bones hospital and all those things, that was the end. You know what? Then I'm, I'm sitting back there and I said, okay. Now she was praying and I was praying. But you realize that, listen, we were not praying out of boldness. We we're not praying out of faith, but we we're praying out of fear and we we're praying out of anxiety. We we're praying out of, out of, out of fear and not out of, out of, out of faith. And that was it. Oh God, I for this one dear, please don't feel low. No, 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 no. This is exactly what happened at the Red Sea. Moses and the people come to the Red Sea. When they come to the Red Sea, the people start crying out to God, and Moses also cried out to God. And then God didn't say to Moses, listen, I've heard your prayer. He just asked Moses a simple question. What is that in your hand? So what he was saying is, Moses, I don't need your prayer. I need your, your action. I, I don't need your call. I need, I need your comportment, and I need you to study your head and study your mind and do what I've, I've taught you. Listen, back at the backside of the desert, I showed you what your rod could do. All throughout your, your, your sojourn in, 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 in Egypt, when you were, uh, your second coming to, to Egypt, I demonstrated with power what my rod can do. I demonstrated with power what my rod can do. So you listen, Moses, whether you like it or not, whether this thing, I've given you something. So instead of praying, act. Oh boy. Are you aware that sometimes a prayer is more out of fear than, you know, the fear of what will happen. The fear of what will happen rather than faith in God. 
You can pray out of fear or you can pray out of faith. He who must come to God must first believe that he is as a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Look here. Look here. God is still on the throne. Refuse to pray out of fear. Pray out of faith. See you later.